streets. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Lottie. Business. This is my question. So, when when does it? Oh yeah, when when does when when, when 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 do you think people should like? When does it become the the responsibility? power that we have, when does it become the responsibility of the artist to be a little cautious of exactly the material he's putting out there? All the time. Because it's like, y'all say, okay, no, no, I no, do no, understand, no, 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 I respect no, no. that they okay. gotta do what they gotta do, but some of the stuff that is being put out there is just like, would you even say this to your daughter? You wouldn't say this to your daughter. So when do we have to at least be like, when you say, but this is, but this is why, this is why, let me tell you like this. This is why they don't. We say that they don't understand like the youth type of music. We got nineteen. We got nineteen, twenty, twenty-two year olds and on down, and twenty-four year olds who supply most of the things that's going to the children's ears. Those people from what I just said in that bracket of age, they haven't even grown up yet themselves. You know what I'm saying? So they don't even know what the hell going on. They own some other things. They, that's why they love to keep it into a thing where they say, no, it's kind of a little too old, they want it kind of more youthful, so that it control what people are doing. So when they get some ignorant shit, they want to push a lot of ignorance into our children's mind. No disrespect to the people who's making music, but they applaud them for making music that condones the lifestyle of what they want to be escalated. You know what I'm saying? From the program directors on down. So that's why we had this shit was going on. And these record labels, you gotta think, these record labels, been in the music business for years. Business. They've been there. So they understand. They understand. They know exactly what hip hop was mm. and where it is. But their whole agenda is money. Yep. If it's selling, we don't give a damn what people think. It, it could be different, but, but but like they have the power to release and not to release. Yeah. That's why so many artists are dying before they reach the peak. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, like you know, like the game is just like real Especially crazy how it is. Especially ones that's going to say something. Oh, man. Especially ones that's going to say, like, people say, oh, Lord, he went crazy. They went cra they, people believe and buy that shit and say, well, I guess she went crazy. She didn't go crazy. Mm -hmm. This yeah. industry Everybody, is something else that will make you, Prince you in this day, y'all in this day, you know what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's some, it's, it's some things in this thing to make you want to be like, man, ain't nobody a part of that thing no more with that kind of thing. No, it's it's very tough, you know, and, and the thing is, it's like, I always say I wish I could do more, like I wish my spotlight was bigger so I can do more, you know? And, mm -hmm. and, you are going to do more. Well, yeah, I, exactly. I, I, I plan on it, regardless you of the... going to bless that. You know, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. But uh, I just think that as an artist, it's, it's just... It, it's something that has to just come from, you know, the consumer, which I guess it won't come from the consumers, but somebody has to switch some shit up so that the message becomes like a factor again. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. that comes from. I don't know whose job that is. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's not going to be the consumers. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, the, the labels program, are almost... Exactly and like earlier... Er program directors. Yeah, and like earlier when I, when I was saying that I don't watch the award shows, it's like... like, like or... or like the reason I don't watch the award shows or go by those shows, and I've always been like this. Like I, this ain't nothing. I just like all, like Keith G. Though, this ain't nothing. I automatically, you know, like just up and change one day. He keep his Grammy under the seat, y'all. If y'all don't know, once yeah, I, once I, I went, Real once cool. I went to my first award show, and I saw what is what uh, uh, what it was about from from all aspects. Like, you know, like the. The glory of it, the glitz, and how they try to make you feel like you know mm -hmm. when you win this, you've made it now. Yeah. You've made it now. But see, like the thing is, like what people don't understand is like you made it as soon as your fans discover you. This is why I tell people like the record company ain't the first person that discovers you. Right. Your fan, your fans is the first person people that discover you. Talk yeah. to them, let us you know what I'm saying? Like your fans discover you first. So you you're going to give me a you you you're going to give me an award to say you solidified me after my fans already said I was the shit. Yeah. They already said this. This is the only reason you fucking with me right now because yeah. my fans already said I was the shit. Right. Bottom right. line, bro. Batman said I'm platinum Bottom on my line. block, bro. And that's what Bottom it is, bro. Line. Like so, like we gotta stop taking for one. We gotta stop taking these award shows like they, like. Bottom. Like they, so, like, like they solidifying something that we didn't yes. already do. Oscar because we already did that, bro. Yeah. Like, y'all late. Y'all mm -hmm. y'all, riding the bandwagon because the people done already said I'm the shit. Y'all yeah. riding the bandwagon right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. That's 
That's real. And that's how I look at them. And motherfuckers be like, oh, you don't want to go in hell? I don't give a fucking nigga. That shit is, for one, it's boring as fuck. Sure. I don't want to sit there that long. I want to have a drink in my hand at all times. Right, right, right. And I got to wait to a commercial. Nigga, is you crazy? Yeah, yeah, Come no, on, movie. son. Is you crazy? Board. I'm thinking it's going to be fun and all that kind of thing. Come on, thing. son. I'm going to go to a commercial to go pee. Shit, I was drinking beer and Girl, stuff that's like real. that. I couldn't do that thing. I just couldn't do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, really. So, I don't like, so, go again. Meet me in the back. So that's, a, so that's how I feel about all those honors and like people boycotting that. You know, like it's cool like to draw awareness to it. But if y'all wasn't so serious with it in the first place, like... Well, I'm going to be at the BET Awards. I'm bougie as hell on all of y'all, too. I'm going to be kiss me. Hey, look. <laughs> Walk in and suck the commercial. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be asking, you what you wearing, Dickies? <laughs> what kind of shoes? Dickies. I'm going to be bougie as <laughs> hey, hell. Hey, check it out. I want, I want to, like, take time out to um, acknowledge, you know, it's been 28 years, if I'm not mistaken. 28 years. We need to get this public in this public enemy video pulled up. What was it called? Black Steel? Black Steel or something? Yeah. We need to pull that up because I want to play that video. This is Chuck the twenty D. this is the twenty eighth year of this album. Woo-hoo. It takes a nation of millions or something like that. Us, it takes a nation of millions to hold yes. us back. You know what I'm saying? Twenty eight years wow. and Professor Griff. You know when we I'm talk saying? about when we talk about what hip hop used to be and this is and this is you know, I wanna talk you know uh the the young generation. We not hating on what y'all are doing. We just trying to like get out there and explain what hip hop was. Because we did the same thing too. We made songs and we was just talking shit about how couldn't nobody beat us and wasn't nobody better than us and and and, and we was the best. That's hip hop. Yeah. But it wasn't all about that. Every song didn't sound the same. We didn't, uh, uh, Big Daddy Kane didn't sound like Dougie Fresh. Carol Riss mm-hmm. didn't sound like the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys didn't sound like Run DMC. People had their own identities. Talk to them, G. People had their own identities. That's all we're stressing. Like, reach out, reach out and dig down a little deeper. Because, like, a true artist is one that's going to land. That's why it's not that many artists that's, that, that has longevity. Yeah. Because it's like, Everybody sounds the same. Everybody's doing the same. You have to reach out and step outside that box. Don't be scared to be that dude that's doing it different because you may think that people are going to look at you crazy, hmm. but when you're doing something different, yeah. it's going to have the opposite of effect that you think it's going to have. It's going to draw people to you. As the long as it's dope. Track, the fast track is that's doing, it's, that's it's doing what's trendy. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like if you want a deal, you got to do what... You know what's trendy, or what but everybody else is doing. So I think it's just you have to decide if you're gonna, you know, take the, the long road or the high. You know, but but but, take but, the but, the but listen yeah. though, this is this this is this is what I tell people though. True raw talent is undeniable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You you I don't you can't stop it. Yeah. True talent. So if you're working on your craft that hard and you come in with true raw talent. It's undeniable. Yeah. People told us before we even got to the industry, like, we did a gong show and niggas gonged us. It was like, y'all niggas sound like some fucking Koreans talking that, sh- sh- that Ouija board. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is this Ouija argument? Get that shit up out of it. Gong. <laughs> gong niggas, bro. We kicked niggas ass, of course, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was when we was like 16, 17 years old. But 60 million but, records later. But like, niggas didn't understand it. But like, you, just like you said, like, Millions of records later, it's like, like oh, now we, we get stable it. What you're doing. We stable what you stable what we, what we did because it was different. Now or whatever, you know. Oh, you know what for real. And you did something that became, and you did something that everybody now is doing. You know what I'm saying? We still waiting to see somebody actually take it to a different level and do something that we haven't ever heard. Exactly. Because now everybody rap singing. Who did that? Boom. You know what I'm but saying? that's a program right. director. That's why they, see a program so who's director. Do something else out the a box? program director wants somebody who sounds just like that next dude. I need a Drake. Right. That's what they say. They don't right. say I need right. a new artist that sound dope. He could be a brand new artist, that sound dope as a motherfucker right there. I Live band and everything. A singer, though. But I'm saying that's the way it's going. <laughs> Drake been singing his ass. I think Drake about to start singing salsa. <laughs> that music dope. Check it out, y'all. We right. having we having a good conversation. Y'all call us up if y'all want to smoke on some of this conversation with us. You know right. what I'm saying? You know. Fire. Up. It's crazy, Bone. Bone, keep G. Lonnie D. Hey, cool ass baby. Hit us up. 855 Cool ass. 652 Yeah, yeah. 8784 We're going to smoke on some of this. Uh, dang, y'all smoking that conversation.
Oh, there you go. Right? They got it. Professional. Hey, hey nigga, this was my oh, shit right oh, here. Oh, oh. Damn, oh, you can smoke hey, hey, this. hey, this is shit before they made fuck the police. They made a nigga want to ride on the nigga. What? For real. That oh, I'm a black, black man, man. And no, I could no, never no. be a veteran. <laughs> that nigga Chuck I got a raw deal. Hey, that and I'm looking for the steel. Huh? All good, baby. All good, baby. How last you? What's up? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, nigga, come on. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Come on, nigga. Okay, you too, sweetie. You too. My nigga. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Now they got me in it. Don't you know I caught a CO falling asleep on death row? I grabbed this gun and he did what I said, so. Y'all know. Y'all see it? Champion. You got your periscope working. All right, y'all. All right, baby. All right, baby. For sure. Y'all see it. Hello. Champion. Yeah, I don't get off so fast. I'm just saying, though. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. People say word to her. They say what? Yeah. Rub it in. You know, I, I My baby's walking crazy. I'm sorry. What? Eight months. She just turned eight months. When she started walking? She started walking like two weeks ago, but now she's like Damn. really walking. Damn. Yeah, oh, she like shit. she likes she likes standing up and being strong too, especially when I be playing music and shit. She really be like, yeah. <laughs> she like, I'm into this shit right here, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, she's ready, man. That's dope, that's dope. She wants to eat. I'm so afraid to eat her food, but everyone's like, eat her, but I'm afraid. Like, Man, she, she, I fed her some chicken the other day. She fucked that shit. She stood by me till I was with the bone. I was like, there's no more. She was like, come, 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 bitch. Come on, bitch. I know you got some more of that chicken bone. She fucked that chicken up. She fucked that chicken up. I was like, you okay? People like, they're, they're like a lot of you know, food. <laughs> They know I'm crazy. She crazy the motherfucker. They know I'm crazy. Wait till they get this on tour. Yes, honey. It's going down. It's going down. Quick fix blowing up, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Oh, shit. I got to put the, um, play the other, um, I forgot to post keys. <laughs> he don't want to lose out this week. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You've been fucking up the government. That nigga Chuck was mad, nigga. Nigga played Flay, he ain't gonna fuck. <laughs> Flay, Flay, Flay ain't gonna fuck. He like, yeah, boy. Y'all good? Y'all straight? You think? Yeah, we good. Where's we good. Uh, oh, Cray, where's the, where's the funions at? I think Where they just took all the I think them niggas are rowdy. Hey, 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 like, I think they took the funions. Oh, no, no, no. No, they might have bought their own, though. I hope so. <laughs> I hope they bought their own fire, man. Okay. What's up, baby? Yeah, man. Tell it, tell it. I think these niggas took our fire, man. This is not funny. This is serious business. Vamp later for sure. Y'all better believe it. Vamp life. Yeah, niggas took our snacks, man. Then they're flipping. <laughs> Lottie flipping out about the goddamn funny. <laughs> it's not that serious, Lottie. Am I in the city? Yes, I'm in Los Angeles. Craig, <laughs> what, what happened? Get your motherfucking friends, okay? <laughs> they ate the motherfucking funny. I, I don't know who the fuck they. How you gonna eat the funny? <laughs> Too, bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. For real. I ain't even eat one of them. So. Oh, yo. When Come I say 50 cal, <laughs> motherfucking one, okay? <laughs> that nigga, I'm looking for him, man. That, that nigga call me, <laughs> man. Look, <laughs> man, it's the <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell <laughs> niggas call me, man. No, I got a sale in the hand when I came here. Yo, I know. Him, man. I'm sitting, I'm thinking like. I'm looking, you saw the funny. Why did you say that? I was snatching him out the head. I thought it was gay funny. I don't know. I would have snatched him out the head. Him is our friend. Him is our friend. Keep telling them niggas. Yeah, we is. 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 Yeah
I like y'all niggas. This is cool. Tell them to call me. I'm looking for them. I need, a, I need a selfie picture. Hey, where them pictures? How you think one of these These on? niggas ain't the funniest, though. Hey, hey, Billy. All this hard work we put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, we need to get the picture and post it. Yeah. So does it mean? Right now. Yeah, right now, right now, right this moment. Put the Cheetos down. Wait, keep no, keep your phone is messed up. Your phone is blurry. Hurry up and get the picture. We about to go on there. Here. I'm talking about my Metro PCS shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my business. Ready? 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 Come on here, leather face. Ready? Ready? Oh, here we go. One, two, three. Boom. Can you want to get another one? One. One, two, three. That was good right there. Good. What is my shit? Come on. I got eyes for you. Come on, hold on. Come on, hold on. One, two, three. Boom. Boom, 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 okay. Come on. Y'all niggas, paparazzi ass niggas, come on. That's <laughs> You the one with a selfie stick. <laughs> Two. Come on, Billy. 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 Come it was like a couple months ago. I was on the on on, on the on the time to join the cruise. And everybody was on there. Yeah, everybody. Join there. You got to get the quick ones on that cruise. You already set that up though. You already get that quick quick thing. Everybody was on there, man. You know what I'm saying? Once again, shout out to Chuck oh, yeah. D and you know you know Flavor Flay. Oh, yeah. You know the uh, Professor Griff, Terminator X, S1W. All y'all, man. Much love. You know what I'm saying for having such an impact in hip hop. You know what I'm saying and being known for what y'all do was truly up hip. Uplifting. Hey, and I am excited to say that, um, speaking of hip-hop, Lil' Kim is going to be honored at the um, Hip-Hop VH1, the Hip-Hop Awards. Oh, yeah? And I think that's going to be awesome because Lil' Kim has really made a mark, like, in hip-hop. You know what I mean? That's right? true. That's true. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Despite all with all the, yeah. you know, drama that surrounds them, what they say, you know, yeah. so, like, you, you can't deny the, the, way, the way she came on to the scene yeah. with her... We're gonna call it raunchy style yeah. of rap. Sexy. Yeah. But she was sexy. And she sexy was, with it. She was sexy. sexy with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, she, she. I fought bitches after listening to Lil' Kim. She, she put the mark down. She's the first she, female. She, she stomped her heel down on that. Like, she, bitches, that's me. That first female and ever heard. And, they, and, they, and everybody else, first bro. First female ever heard talk about products of clothes, to what to wear, to Prada clothes, yeah. to Gucci clothes, to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Chanel, this and that, and, you know, sixes, rolling, yeah. and things like that. She's the original Black Barbie. She already she wore was. those things. I've already seen that. I live long enough to see her wear all pink and get pink things and show up to a bike, a, a red carpet with a helmet. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, bro. yeah, bro, like, and, 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 like, history... Like, this is what I tell people. Like, history is history. Like, when people ask me, like, you don't get mad when people, like, you know, like, don't recognize that it came from bone. And I'm like, bro, history is, that's going to always be there in history, bro. I ain't got to jump up. Hey, I did. I ain't, ain't got to do that because history is history. When you create a lane, if you know the 48 laws of power, the very first law is you can never outshine the master. But, and that's in every situation it right. is in life. And you know what makes it easier, too? You can never outshine a master. The person that created it is yeah. going to always own the lane. But look, as a subject, always. as a subject, like Leatherface, wouldn't it make it easier if you come up and be like, look, G, I love your stuff. You inspired me to do this whole situation, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to do my thing like that. Now, that's a whole better <clears throat> lane than just doing the situation and just, like, acting like I've never even seen you do it before. And I'm not just too positive. Thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's too positive. A little too positive, huh? That's too. Uh, <laughs> too loving. It, it, it would make things a lot smoother, though. You know yeah, it would. Because the beef that, like, when two MCs meet, 
sometimes they want to do some things like battle. People's careers and, are and, and made that's off cool. of beefs. And that's cool. Yeah. Like, what does that tell you? <laughs> no, yeah. that's very and that's true. Cool because right there. Remember, but if two powerhouses get themselves together instead of uh, going to war with one another, now you saving troops and everything. Look, what if what if two kings got a kingdom? You know what I'm saying? They want to battle. Now they losing all kind of troops. But if they get together, now I got twenty four thousand men. Now you got twenty four thousand men. Now we got eighty four thousand men. You know what I'm saying? In our That's real. kingdom. That's forty eight. Instead, but I understand. <laughs> yeah. I'm still looking for my chapter. I understand you know what I'm the chemistry and. <laughs> I'm talking about we, yeah, got, that's real. we got more yeah, than what yeah. we came with instead of doing that. That's real. They see, the way they want to do it, you do got to move on. It's against each other, so we do that type of shit like that. Nigga, please. But you that started from a letter that was passed on way back in the day. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Wasn't that the, what was the Willie Lynch letter? What was that letter? Hell that yeah. Wrote a long time Willie ago Lynch. told the nice kids later yes. not to like the dark Willie skin. Lynch did that. Started he stuff. did what? He has a whole letter of how to actually put a whole people against the. This how is to, how you break your people. It was how, how, how you break your slaves. Masters. This is how you break them. This is how you do. This is how you turn them against one another. Turn them to you give, give, so give these ones you more money. Like, you break you, you, you break the strongest man <coughs> in front of the whole people. It so was you, a letter. You break the I biggest man. It was a letter. Okay. Um. It was a letter to slave owners. Slave owners were starting to complain that their slaves were getting out of hand. How can they control their slaves? So he wrote this letter out to all the slaves. Out of hand, meaning on how to, they were right on how to control yeah. the slaves. Yeah. But what did he, what did he, what do you think he meant when he said they're getting out of hand? Do you think he meant like they're starting to rally up together, or they're getting they're starting? Yeah, they you know. But we were always the people that like we sang to each other. We knew how to talk to each other, so they didn't understand our language, and we were strong. And so of course, I'm sure a lot of slaves rebelled. I'm sure they fought a lot. They killed a lot. That's why they had to go to the extreme of hanging people because it had to be like, look, calm down. You right. know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure it wasn't easy to take these people. You know strong. I mean? Oh, no. Yeah, strong. Was, strong people. I know. I, mean, I would have been like, come on, scoot it. Grab your gun. Well, Nat, Turner, Nat, Turner, Nat Turner was one dude, but he thought that the people thought he was a lot of people. Nat Turner was one slave that was escaped and just was riding like that. They thought he was like 1,200 niggas. You know what I'm saying? The way his aura was around the thing. You know Nat Turner's type of situation. Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. Girl, come on. Yeah. I know about the black. Come on. He had everybody yeah. shook. You know what I'm saying? Just one dude. Just, yeah. So they wrote the letter. Rufus Black Cowboy. They wrote the letter. And then... Your turn, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> What's the letter say? No, back to you, Katie. <laughs> What the letter says? Yeah. Like, Inspire mine. I don't know. Right, right. I, I, I'm telling you, no, but it is. That is, that is the, that, if you trace it all the way back as far as just the fact, that I think one of the issues about us coming together, I think it has a lot to do with some stuff that was planted like long, 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 long yeah. time ago. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but that's, that, so we yeah. need to write a letter. Let's write a letter. We should write a letter. We should write a letter. Let's write a letter. Write a letter. Write a letter. Write no, he can't write. I'll have to write the letter. Okay. Yeah, or he won't write a lot. Hey, no. He I just tell you what to say. He, yeah. he can make it sound good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm stamp shit. I'm he got stamp that. Card. He got that word in there. No, you gotta, you gotta get the address for us to send it. Oh, oh no, don't have him get the address, girl. Oh, yeah. We still owe Sabrina. Sabrina, I promise you, girl, we're gonna get you that. Hey, Sabrina, New York, baby, we coming with that letter. We coming with that letter, Sabrina. I promise. No. That's cool. We need to do something. For real. We need to. We, you know, we need to make a difference around here. No, for real. Quick fix need to make a difference, guys. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's why. Get, I, that's why they get hyped up when I saw the Jesse Jesse speech because I was like, okay, that's great. What he's saying is real. Everybody in the room knows this shit. Like, that's real. That, everybody that's, knows this stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like Obama. You know, the messenger comes with the, with a good looking set of parents and a mixed race. Oh, and you know, speaking da -da 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 -da. of Obama, I'm happy you brought oh, yeah. him up. Um, so Michelle Obama had a conversation with oh Whitney, my god with um, not Whitney okay sorry, with Oprah ladies and gentlemen we're gonna take the conversation and talk to you wait we're gonna just take it just a little bit no is just, it okay let's go all the way there with it come on it's okay okay yeah we so, done with that last subject we done with that okay good so <laughs> I actually go. thought this was so amazing because any woman I wanna see this. and this is all women uh, uh, any well, woman who's ever popcorn? been in love with a man can understand this language that um, Michelle Obama and Oprah Winfrey have talking about Michelle's love for Obama and I thought it was so cute I thought it was so awesome so you guys let me know when you have the video we'll cue it up but I mean it was cute here let's, let's, see the let's clip? take a look come on you want to see Oh, you see it? Here you go. So let's oh, okay, we still okay. We in clip mode. But I mean, position. when you're watching this video, if you've been in love with somebody 
and you really, <laughs> really love him, and you really, and he's really treated you good, you'll really understand. You can totally tell they love each other. Yeah. I mean, he might have some on his side, but I think she's probably. No, if he got it on his side, it ain't never gonna pop up. Somebody, uh, somebody on here said. What they doing? Cha cha? <laughs> no, I think he's. Ass. He's stupid. No, I think. Oh, no. no, I'm just. I'm just. Michelle. He ain't doing. Do you need this? Do you need this? Do you think this is too far? I know that. I think they eat edible. I think they smoke too. Everybody has to adjust for your blood pressure. It keeps your blood pressure at a good level. I know I would have to smoke if I had that job. And you don't need this. For real. To deal with the shit he deals with. I can't. Hey, look. I can't even handle the day to day without. <laughs> I can't. I know they got to. Hey, they got to be getting a shot or something. Well, <laughs> you you to roll. <laughs> Come on, bro. Shoot, like nobody's business. You know what I'm saying? Learning from college. You know what I'm saying? She's like, right, what you think I'm Sigma Phi Delta? You know how they do? Still can't roll be smoking too. So what's we waiting for the? I still can't. We waiting for the clip to go. Oh, yeah. oh, they ain't got the clip that's out. Oh, don't do that to me. Okay, don't do that to me. <laughs> if you want. Okay, so let me. No, don't start firing me crazy. Because every time I can't find a clip. See what y'all doing? Y'all about to give me fire. Working here. Let me resend the clip. Leave the drugs alone. Let me resend the clip. <laughs> Just say no. Huh, oh, you got it? Oh, you got it? Oh, you went to work? Okay. Play clip that. You have that option to just say oh, no. Wow. Okay, play a clip. What's the matter? Y'all tell you, Johnny. What's the matter? You think it's the matter? What's the matter? I think it's alright. Look at it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they, they both did it. Swaggier. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, we're going to rip them? <laughs> She says, swagger listeners. You know, she hey, actually need to be checking the shit out over though. Okay, <laughs> that's what I... Keith, okay. Keith, that's what I said. See, if I I'm said the down, Oprah was like, look, how has he been swaggalicious? If I'm sitting down with President Obama, if it's the other way around... I gotta watch the clip, man. Or something, she interviewed me, a nigga, Go on to Z420.tv to watch the clip. I know, Come because on. she was she was like, she even stood up on Michelle like, oh, girl, you got that swaggalicious. But like she knows something. Yeah. yeah she, she, but Obama is sexy in the way that he does love Michelle. Because he's a real G. Exhausted. He walked like a real... He walked like yeah. a dude. Walked she was like, like, ooh, Michelle. Walk she won't that she was standing with walk behind her with swaggalicious. That's been like, it's, Oprah, where is it? Hey. Hey, you, Chad, Obama's, hey, Obama's hey. a real nigga. If you, if you turn him upside down and shake him out, I bet you some Newports come out. Like hey. Hey. I was just about to say, I was about to say, hey, tell me walk up to the podium and he walk up like... Walk up like he just leaving the liquor store. Yeah, check this mm -hmm. out. He's doing some check this out type looking. Let me go in here and make this speech real quick. Nigga, I got to talk to you. That nigga walk like my father. Look, nigga. Look, look. <laughs> he the president be on niggas money and everything. Hey, nigga, nigga, I got that nigga. Hold on. Nigga, wait, nigga, I told you niggas to wait outside and like get through with this shit. <laughs> nigga, that, 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 that nigga gonna fuck my job, but chill out. So, hey, nigga, chill out. I'm gonna get y'all niggas out of jail. Chill out, nigga. I got the pardon shit coming up. I got, got you. I got the pardon shit coming up. I told you I got you, nigga. Come on, son. Hey, and he been acting a fool, Ooh. man. I, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. Obama let him know. Hey, it was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He frying chicken and shit all downstairs, man. Oh, yeah. He's like, he ain't do it the first year. Hey. This is all in the front. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just in the front. Everybody's showing up to the after party now, people that wow. were invited before. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Obama, we sorry, you know. We sorry, Obama. He I might need you to, I mind you to pardon some of my relatives. <laughs> hey, but I'll tell you one thing that the, with, the, what? with the presidential candidate that's coming up, <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> has proposed to forgive loan debt for young entrepreneurs. I think that's another reason we should vote for Clinton. I shouldn't come on this show. What? Clinton has proposed to forgive lo student Not loans. Either. Leave Hello. politics alone. All hope is lost. Yeah. I know, but if she forgives student loans, that's awesome. Come on, what does forgive mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean the that world you is doomed. Anymore. Oh. <laughs> like they'll forgive student loans He's for young run. entrepreneurs. Like, that's good. Right. right. But shit, hell, I mean, so if that's free, then the books is a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know. I always find a negativity in everything. No. I'm trying to stay something yeah, positive. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying? I, I agree with you. But I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but. You know what I'm saying? 
trying to have them lower. Well, if she thing. has a Republican Congress and, or a, you know a Republican uh, House and Senate, then that's just going to be a pipe dream problem. Well, none of them never yeah, do. Yeah, what they, they, they could do. They <laughs> might really want to do stuff, but I just think that there's there's, there's things that can't happen. <laughs> Obama said there was a whole bunch of stuff he wanted to do, and then he got in there and they was like, no, nope. exactly. Cause cause yeah, and then it. all the people want to blame him for not doing it because because they don't pay attention. Okay, they want to, exactly. <laughs> they don't know there's, a, there's people that yeah, you know you have to are vote. other people involved. Yeah, that's what they have the, to exactly. Vote. There's other people that's like, you ain't got the power. We just put you in the front so you could take all the blame and stuff like that. We playing the game. That's real. You the dude that's the pawn. We behind pulling the strings and doing exactly what we want. Toto. Exactly. We're, and we're the, the we, need, we need a Toto. We need a Toto. <laughs> <laughs> Toto. All right. Pull so, that oh, curtain back, all right, Toto. So, okay. What Wizard of Oz do? Okay, so we're going to go, we we gonna, go from Obama man to... Gucci Mane. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Gucci oh, Mane. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Okay. But I just want to address this, you know, because this, like, since we talking about race, and right. we're trying to talk about our own race for a minute. Because, <laughs> you know, like, this is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, the dude get out of jail, you know, he obviously trying to, you know, like, I don't know what he's trying to do. Nigga trying to slip down. Nigga trying to, you know, nigga trying to. Nigga, nigga trying to do some smart <laughs> shit with his life. Right. The niggas beating the man, beating the black man down. <laughs> They beating him down. Yeah, they really is though. Why? What Gucci happened? Man, Let me see. What y'all Gucci talking about? Gucci man that got out of jail. The nigga eating kale. He's changed himself. He looking real. Cool. The nigga he out there. Walker, so the why not say he don't look nothing like himself? No, no, because everybody saying like that he looks so different. Like the, 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 when he came out of jail, he and looked, talking different. He just looks so different. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Do that to you. Books but, will do that but, to but, you. but 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 let's play the clip and then talk about it. Let's play the whole clip. Oh, he looks great. Nigga just on a diet. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's the way that he's talking. <laughs> look, 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 look. Look, look, look. <laughs> look, look, look. Look, look, look. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> he said to the conclusion. My <laughs> <laughs> belly. <laughs> The nigga lost his mind. <laughs> he lost weight and he lost his let's, mind. Listen, do what you say though. It's real what he say though. Thank <laughs> you. 